Welcome to the Microsoft Teams Quick Start Guide presented by Voxtelesis. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to set up our cloud-based session border controller, VoxSBC. VoxSBC is a cloud-based switching infrastructure that offers SBC-grade functionality with little to no configuration requirements. VoxSBC also eliminates any licensing fees, hardware or hosting costs, and support contracts. Vox SBC is integrated directly with Microsoft Teams, 3CX, and other industry leading phone systems. To obtain a Vox SBC domain, you'll first need to reach out to Vox Telesis to get set up. The Vox Telesis support phone number is 701 929 9797, and the support email is support at voxtelesis.com. You'll then receive an email from ms no reply at Microsoft.com titled Account Information for New or Modified Users, which contains your new username as well as a temporary password. Navigate to portal.voxtelesis.net to log in to the Voxtelesis portal. From the dashboard, click on SIP Registrations. From here, Hover over Options and click on the Teams logo. The Microsoft Teams SBC tutorial for PowerShell will appear. Click on the Teams Admin Center link here. This will open the Microsoft Login page in a new tab. Fill out the credentials that were provided in the email with your account information. Download the Microsoft Authenticator app for your iOS or Android device and configure your account to use this app as this is required to log in. From the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, click on Show All from the side panel. Click on Settings and click on Domains from the drop-down. Click on Add Domain. From here, navigate back to the Voxtelesis portal, then copy and paste the primary domain name as the new domain in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. When you're finished, click on Use This Domain. Select Add a TXT record to the domain's DNS records as the method to verify your domain. Once you're done, click on Continue. Next, copy and paste the TXT value from the Admin Center into the Voxtelesis portal here. Click on Submit. You should wait a couple of minutes for the record to propagate, then you would select Verify. If the text record has not yet propagated, a message like this will appear. You would then need to wait more time before eventually selecting Try Again. For the next screen, just click on Continue. Deselect the Exchange and Exchange Online Protection option, then select Continue. The domain setup is now complete. You can select Done to finish up. 